Welcome to the Cathedral of the Holy Cross. Here we are, we've got the cathedral to ourselves. It's not very often that that happens. It's happening more than we'd like of late. But here we are, we're so happy that you could be here. Welcome to the choir loft of the Cathedral of the Holy Cross. Uh, we got a lot of room here. Uh, I wanna welcome Richard Kelly. Richard's there, we're gonna say some things to him, about him. Uh, some of you know him quite well and uh, he is, um, doesn't need introduction for most people, but in case you do, just a little bit about him. Rich Kelly, uh, in case you don't know, he's been a soloist with the uh, Boston Symphony Orchestra. He, he plays with the Boston Pops on a regular basis. He has performed with artists such as Andrea Bocelli, Ray Charles, Steven Tyler, James Taylor, just to name a few, there's a bunch of others. Uh, he can be heard on a variety of recordings, including the Oscar and Golden Globe winning soundtrack to Disney's Pocahontas. Yeah, and I know that's really big. Uh, with my kids, Juliana, Hi, and Addie, they love that. It's great. Uh, and also, uh, <clears throat> on Stephen uh, Paulus's Grammy-nominated concerto for two trumpets and band, and he was one of those two trumpets. That's just a little bit. That's a little bit about Rich. Anyone who knows Rich, uh, he is as good a human being as he is a player, and he's darn good. And his heart really comes out in his playing. I want to introduce Rich. Uh, come on and say hi. I'm going to say, I'm going to run around. Let's do it left. Okay. <laughs> we're staying apart from each other. Yes, we are definitely still social distancing. That's uh, another beautiful thing that we are able to do this in a cathedral to ourselves and still have all this room up here to, uh, you know, be safe. So uh, thank you and welcome. And uh, this will be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. So here's, here's how we're at. We, uh, we've come here to play uh, some music with the organ, the wonderful pipe organ. Uh, the uh, 1875 E and G G Hook and Hastings, 101 ranks, 5,318 pipes. Thank you, Leo Abbott, for making this possible. Uh, you can see the console, the replica console, built in 2003 by the Andover Company. This is a replica of the 1875 console, hidden away. Some 21st century technology, so we can save all our pistons. Uh, one of the things, so we'd like to get started. Uh, this is a difficult time for everybody. We want to bring some joy. I want to share that. Uh, and uh, I feel that joy that you can be with us today. Uh, tomorrow's May 1st. And at Cathedral, I want to be mindful that the, the bishops of the United States and of Canada are going to renew the consecration of our two nations to the Blessed Mother. So uh, we would like to also think of this. Any music making we do, even though it's a concert, uh, it's still a prayer. Any preparation you make, any singing in your heart, what we're still doing, whether we're in front of people or not, it's still a prayer, it's still music. Uh, and we just want to get started with, um, if you can sing along with us, everyone in Corpus Christi Watershed Land, you can sing along with us. If you'd like to sing the Ave Maria. How many trumpet players do you know sing Gregorian chant? Okay, can you give us, yeah, this guy. All right, I'm gonna do it again. Um, you can pray along in your heart as well. Ave <coughs> Maria. Gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tui mulieris, et benedictus frutus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccato, The first piece uh, we like to play is uh, I like to dedicate to teachers. Uh, it's the prayer of Saint Gregory. Saint Gregory uh, was patron saint <laughs> of a few things: musicians, uh, teachers, among other things. Um, teachers have a really hard time right now. I know I got four kids at home. We just got two. Uh, it's harder to teach now, and it's a lot less rewarding. It's very difficult because you're not right there. So we'd like to dedicate this to all of you uh, and everything you're going through right now. This is the Prayer of St. Gregory by Alan Obanis.
was Alan Havana's prayer of St. Gregory. Can I play a little Bach? Yeah. A little Bach, play a Thank you for being here. One of the things um, that's come to mind thinking of music to play, the, I'd like to play a piece that I composed a few years back. It's called uh, Ascent to Freedom. I'd like to talk about freedom because we don't have a lot of that right now. Uh, we're in captivity. Uh, freedom is, is really not something that is born out of being able to fill any desire that we want, being able to do anything we want to do. That often causes some people to be in their own little prison. Uh, freedom really is born out of captivity. It's followed by battle, followed by faith, followed by wisdom and compassion, seen through the eyes of love. Freedom's a struggle. So this piece, uh, Ascent to Freedom, I'm going to play the fourth movement and fifth movement. It's a much longer work, which we don't, we don't want to get into right now. <laughs> uh, the first movement you're going to recognize um, from the African-American spiritual Go Down Moses. This is uh, Tell Old Pharaoh to let my people go. Then the second movement you'll hear uh, from the Shaker hymn by Robert Lowry, who's Baptist minister, How Can I Keep From Singing? Uh, and you know the text from that, from that refrain, No storm can shake my inmost calm while to that rock I'm clinging, since Christ is Lord over heaven and earth. How can I keep from singing? So this comes to mind on a lot of levels. So this I'd like to feature the, the, uh, the 1875 E and G G Hook and Hastings organ on this. A lot of different color. Um, you can hear the struggle and hopefully hear the piece.
Ascent to Freedom. Uh, you heard Go Down Moses. How can I keep from singing? I uh, can't wait for the day we all get back together and, and sing and pray together. Uh, so Rich has been keeping his horns warm. I got a couple of questions for him. I need him to say about this. So this pipe organ is a little sharp. It's not at 440. It's a little, it's a little higher. Where is it? We, we measured it at 450 today, 450.2. And he's playing beautifully along to that. How many horns you got? At home, you know? Several. Several? Like Maybe about seven or eight? That's it? I think like a dozen. No, no. Yeah. I mean, most people have more. No. I don't have a lot. Okay. I really don't. Which ones did you bring and why? Okay. And how did you tune to these? Yeah, how did you tune to these? So, okay, stay clear. That's a good question. If it is a good question, if you play trumpet, you will notice that my slide is all the way in and I'm blowing warm air through it. So, uh, that should give you some indication of how high the horn really, uh, the organ really is. So usually I'm out probably about that far, but that's just not going to make it just to play what he played. It's a huge, huge difference, which doesn't look like much, but boy does it feel. It's like uh, lifting a Volkswagen when you don't have to. So you make sure you keep your horns warm and you're, you're good to go. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not going to sound very good and, and it's going to be and the really pick. Hard. You've got some options with the pick. Yes. So Are the, you going to tune to which way? This, uh, this, this time, I'm going to keep it where it is in B flat. I had tuned it in A for a part of this song uh, to uh, make it a little easier to be sharper but it's definitely a little less comfortable to play. So we're gonna try keeping it in B flat and see how that goes. I think that'll be home base, uh, so we'll, we'll go with that. But there's one very high uh, part in here. Uh, for me, it's high. Uh, for other people, maybe not so much, so I, I, I'm gonna curse the composer a little bit, but uh, that's okay. <laughs> very, very beautiful. Nicely done, Mr. Clark. Uh, we do what we can do. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but mostly it'll be the B flat, so. The B flat, we love that. We love that. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna run laps. We're running laps here. We're staying apart. So uh, the next work that's sort of the featured work on this program uh, uh, is a piece. Uh, it's based on Psalm 139, one of my absolute most favorite psalms settings. I've written several pieces to that, uh, different settings uh, in different situations. It comes up on Easter Sunday. There's the verse on the intro chant. Uh, Lord, you have searched you and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. Uh, and I want to thank Alan Homerding over at World Library Publications who asked me to compose this piece uh, in its four movements. Uh, it's going to be published with World Library Publications. Uh, things have been a little slow. It's under contract, so it will be available with World Library Publications. Uh, we'll keep you posted on when that is. Uh, I'd like to say hi to everybody over there, too. Uh, Jennifer and uh, Mary Beth and Keith, thank you all your help over at WLP. You guys have been through a lot this year. Um, this piece... Uh, four movements, and they're each a meditation on a different aspect of the famous Psalm 140, 139. The title of the work is Fearfully and Wonderfully Made. This comes from, of course, the verse 14, which we'll get to uh, in a little bit. But the first, the first movement is based on the very first verse, Psalm 139. Lord, you have searched me and you know me.
concert, we don't talk in between movements. This isn't this isn't the usual time. Second movement, fearfully and wonderfully made, is a meditation on Psalm 139, verse 2. <clears throat> you know when I sit and when I rise. You know my thoughts, even from afar. I thought we were out of tune. No, it was, it was the bells. The third movement is meditation on verse 7 of Psalm 139. Where can I flee from your presence? Where can I run from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I should go to the heavens, you are there. If I sleep in the depths, you are also there.
finally our <clears throat> fourth, fourth and final movement, fearfully and wonderfully made, is from the very famous lines of meditation on the famous line uh, from verse 14 of Psalm 139. This movement is called, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. This is something for you, this is something I want you to take and own this deep in your own heart. Think about this for yourself. This is for everyone here watching. Psalm 139, verse 14. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. All your works are wonderful. This I know full well. And I know full well that all of you are fearfully and wonderfully made. This is for all of you.
carefully and wonderfully made. Please over. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Wow. <laughs> All right. So, um, Father Ke Monsignor Kevin O'Leary is in the house. Monsignor Kevin O'Leary is here. He is. He is. He is applauding. He is our one. Our one man standing ovation. Thank you, uh, Monsignor Kevin. Thanks to all of you. Uh, we would. Uh, we got. We got. We got some minutes. We got. We got a chant. Sorry. We got a chant. Chant? Are you gonna? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do. We're gonna do that in a second. We're gonna do a little. I'm sorry. No. no. Yep. We're having a little discussion, Monsignor Kevin, talking to us from uh, 200 feet away. Um, I do want to say hi to everyone at the Cathedral community. We really miss you. It's just not the same. Everybody followed the Tarasi at the Latin Community Mass, William Maldonado and the whole Spanish uh, choir, Spanish community, the Ethiopian community. We have four languages every Sunday at the cathedral, three different rites. It's a very unique place, and it's just not the same with you guys. We're televising Mass. It's not the same. Uh, we miss you. We miss you a lot. Uh, parishes are hurting <coughs> and uh, all over the place. Support your parish. If you support your parishes, you support musicians. Musicians are hurting spiritually, they're hurting economically, they're hurting artistically. So thank you for allowing us to do this tonight. If you're in the Archdiocese of Boston, go to 90 Days Now. Uh, just, just Google 90 Days Now um, and give one or two dollars for 90 days. Do you know anything just to help support? Uh, keep your parishes afloat. Keep your parish in mind. I know everyone's hurting too. We all are, and we're with you on that. Um, we love you all. We want to end this with a prayer as well. This is Cardinal O'Malley's, one of his favorite Gregorian chants, uh, also in keeping uh, with the consecration uh, of Mary, the reconsecration of Mary in the United States tomorrow on May 1st. <clears throat> He's got to work a lot harder than I do on this. This was crazy. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Love you. We'll see you on the other side of this. Can't wait to make music with all of you. All right. And we will see how everyone is doing. Thank you, all, everybody in YouTube land. Take care. We'll see you.